Alright, we got Chris Moo. Shout out to Chris Moo. Drew Holiday. Trade to the Celtics. Bro, why why why, 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 why would they do that? I think they trade away on uh, 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 Robert Williams. So when he played the Bucks, who gonna be guarding the paint with Giannis and Brooke Lopez in there? With Bobby Porter's coming in the game, who going to guard the paint? Tatum want to turn into a rim protector now? Whoop de do! Porzingis, he's seven for three, but don't get it twisted. He ain't no rim protector, bro. He just out there to get his buckets. All he do is shoot threes, and all he do is shoot threes and try to get a bucket. He don't do nothing else. He don't play no defense. He don't get no rebounds. He's like Jaron Jackson Jr. He's like 6'11", 7 feet, only averages like six rebounds a game. The Boston Celtics just made a crazy trade. I get what they're trying to do, like replace Marcus Smart, but you're still going to lose in the first round because of this. You're probably going to lose to the Bucks in the first round. They're going to send Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, and a 2024 first round pick to get Drew Holiday. Wow. So now the Bucks, they've got to deal with Holiday guarding Lillard. So when they play the Celtics, they can't defend the Celtics. Who's guarding Giannis? Tatum? Who's guarding Giannis? Who's guarding Middleton then? Who's guarding Brooke Lopez? You got to guard him. But the Celtics can defend them, which is just so... Can Tatum guard Giannis one-on-one? -on -one? So hilarious. I guess so. But for what the you Celtics, know? you still have the risk of poor Zingas getting injured. This is a big risk. You're asking him to stay healthy because now Rob Williams is gone. And he was a solid big for them. He was very reliable. He was a rim protector. He would yeah. play hard. Now, Rob Williams would get injured, too. He would miss some games. But I think he plays more games than Porzingis. So this is a risky trade. I love it. I love Drew Holiday on the Celtics. They got a real point guard, a defender, and they still have... Jay Celtics don't have a real point guard? I thought Derek Wright was their point guard. What you mean? Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum. Wow. I like it, but man, oh, man. Porzingis gets injured. They ain't going to make a difference. But like I said, they're going to lose in the first round anyway. And this is going to look like a terrible deal. But if he doesn't get injured, they're going to be dangerous. Because now I think they're the favorites. If this team is healthy in this Eastern Conference with Drew Holiday on board, they're taking down anybody in a the series. They've got the matchups. Oh, wow. So now you've got <laughs> the Bucks, Celtics. The Heat trying to get that revenge. They're trying to prove that they can do it without... They said the Heat should trade for Harden, bro. You think Harden going to show up tomorrow? Or training camp? Or media day? Bro, trade <laughs> bro the Heat get Harden. He's going to ask for a trade a month in. One month later, you're going to ask for a trade. I'm going to destroy that organization, bro. Back in the mix. And then you got the 76ers. Just Eric Spolstra will have to go to his house and fight him. Kind of lingering there with James Harden being unhappy. And MB trying to prove something. So this Eastern Conference, it looks... You have to get Udon Salazar back out of retirement for him. Fighting. I love this deal. This is crazy. The Blazers, they got a lot of players now. They got Brogdon. They got Rob Wood. They got a lot of depth out of this trade, some draft picks. So they did very well looking at the trade now. Now that they sent Drew Holiday away, too, to get some more assets back. The trade is looking really good for the Blazers. Can How come, they I'm, not that fast when I, How come I'm not that fast when I play 2K? Their franchise I got 99 speed. Bad job with team building. But now with these collection of players and draft picks, a young DeAndre Look Aiden, they got Scoot on the team too. Let's see if they can finally do something. The Blazers finally build a team that can compete in the future, in the near future, as they develop these young players. Let me know what you think in the comments section. First round, that's it.